Hey y'all, we're Jimmy and Lisa with Finest Camping. In today's Tuesday Talks, for our viewers, we're gonna share with you a tip that was brought to us by, by another, another viewer. viewer. So, what was the tip that this RVer showed you? Well, I'm not gonna tell you, we're just gonna show you, but in the meantime, if you have tips like this that you know that you want to share with us please drop it in the comments below because again this is one of those aha moments like i can't believe we didn't think of that so um if you have something drop it below if you're enjoying these videos please give us a thumbs up make sure you subscribe ring the bell so that you don't miss the next tip that probably is shared with us which might be one viewer. of your tips could be So our Keystone Fusion came prepped for the thin shade, which is this shade back here that you can open and shut to give you more privacy inside the RV. Not such a big deal during the day because our windows are tinted, but at night you could be walking around in your PJs or in the morning and people can see in, so that's not great. And we were really excited and we went ahead and bought two thin shades, one for each door, because they seem like such a great idea. My only problem with them is to open and shut them on a daily basis, you have to come out, flip the door, pull the shade down for nighttime. Then tomorrow when you wanna open it so you can see out again, you have to come back out, open it up, shut the door, and repeat, which isn't a big deal. Like, uh, you know, I know that seems really lazy, but it just, it seems like a hassle. So when we met up this summer with Michelle and Brian Coleman from Cruising with the Coleman's, they had done something that it's like, duh, why didn't I think of that? They installed their thin shade, but they put it in upside down. So they can pull it from the bottom up, pull it up to about here. From inside, you're up higher. You can still see out to see if somebody's at your door, but people on your steps can't see in. People out here can't see in because it's up too high. So today, I'm gonna show you how simple it is to flip it around the other way. And if you don't have one but are thinking about getting one, you might wanna just install it that way to begin with. I do not typically like to use a drill for projects like this because I'm afraid I'm gonna strip the screws out. But for video purposes, I'm gonna use the drill, but you can certainly use your screwdriver. The drill is just gonna be quicker. So if any of you guys know us, Lisa loves power tools and tearing stuff apart. So I'm gonna allow her to do it, but I'm gonna give her the drill to make it faster. But I've already have it preset so she can't strip out the screws so we're going to start with just checking out there's 16 screws around the outside 16 we're screws. going to go ahead and take those out real quick so all the screws are out so we're going to take it out carefully Spin it around. Oh, this one's come undone. Put it back in. So now we're just gonna put the screws back on. So now if you wanna open or shut it completely, it's gonna be the same process as the other one. You're gonna have to open the screen and come out. But you can leave it set right about here and you'll have to adjust it for your height and your rig. Um, from inside up on the floor, I can still see out. So if somebody was standing on my door, doorsteps I could see who it was but because of this and they're down on the steps they can't see in they can see in and see my ceiling but if I'm standing there in my PJs they can't see me so I still have that privacy so thanks for the tip Michelle and Brian Coleman we're so excited to get both of our doors switched over and not have to run and grab a robe when somebody shows up unexpectedly in the morning while I'm trying to drink my coffee so hopefully that tip that our viewer showed us helps you we were super excited about it and again it's one of those things that why didn't we think of that? Why didn't you think of that? I know. Because you usually think of stuff like that. I'm so slipping. <laughs> we will put one of those thin shades uh, in our Amazon store. We'll link it below just in case you guys don't have one. You can get one. If you want to flip it upside down. And you already have one. It's just 16 screws. Yep. Flip it upside down if that's what you want to do or hold it the right way. 
the way they teach you how to do it, whichever way. So hopefully these tips and tricks are helping you. And if they are helping you, please make sure you give us those thumbs up. Subscribe and ring the bell. And until the next time you find us camping. Safe travel, y'all.